The thing that doctors spend more time doing on a day-to-day -day basis than anything else is seeing patients. Today, I wanna to talk you through my interpretation of appointments. For the last few months, I have been working on a new tool called Clinic. Clinic is simple, straightforward appointments, tasks, and messages for doctors. The goal with this tool is to make all of these three core things super simple, super easy, and very straightforward for doctors and in independent practices. Today, I want to talk you through the current design and what I've done so far. I want to talk you through the feedback and the reactions that I've gotten, and then show you how I'm implementing those changes or that feedback. Let's dive in. So I'm going to start here with my original uh, kind of prototype. This is live. You can go and look at this right now if you'd like. Um, I'm going to log in and see, okay, I'm defaulted to the appointments view. This is going to be the thing that most users are going to spend most of their time working with on a day-to-day -day basis. So it makes sense to be the first thing. Um, okay, so appointments. On the left-hand side, all I have is a list. And this is my goal here, and this is actually pretty uh, consistent in this uh, piece of software, is you can see every kind of main thing is just a list. And that's kind of my goal is like, going into this, it was like, if we can just make it so that every single thing is like a list of cards, and then you have this detail view, that makes it super easy to work through. And the complexity is more in the implementation in those things. But one thing that I've, um, and, and so that's kind of the, the reason for this is like showing that there is this list of things on each of these um, things and you can click on it and then you get this overview screen. Now, the feedback that I got actually didn't have a lot to do with the overview screen. Most physicians actually really liked this and I was really pleased with that. One physician actually told me, he was like, what I envision in this view, this world that you're kind of pitching is that there are three columns. One column is showing me the, the appointments, one column is showing me the patient stuff, and then one column is showing me the, the note. And even though I don't have the note here, he looked at this and he went, yep, this is exactly what I want. So the expectations around how much information, what information, the simplicity here is really on the nose. Where we're missing, where we're falling down is actually in that list of appointments, that little list in the sidebar. That was actually quite surprising to me because I figured that if you just see the list of patients and they're kind of auto moving themselves and the status is updating, you don't really need to do a whole lot else. But that's actually not true at all. That, that was a very bad assumption to make, but one that I have been corrected on and I'm glad I have been corrected. So let me show you, um, oops, that's a little bit of a preview. Let me show you a little bit of the feedback I got. And this is the easiest way for me to kind of explain this. So when I showed this list view to the users, most of them said, I actually have a Google Calendar style view right now. And they had me pull up my Google Calendar and show them. Uh, so they actually had me pull up a view that looked like this. This is Amy. Um, it's a tool. Um, it's just another calendaring tool, but very similar theory, right? Where you have these, this calendar view and basically every one of your meetings and appointments is kind of a certain length, right? It's got a length and it's got a color coding on it. And this was the, this was kind of a, a aha moment for me a little bit because appointments as they are now is not just about the appointments. It's not just about the patients. That's what I thought it was. It's actually about the whole calendar of the day. It's things like your break, your lunch break, it's external meetings, it's your own appointments. And doctors were telling me, hey, you know, I want a way to make sure I can, I don't get booked over my, you know, my lunch break or going to see my own doctor or going to do this thing or that thing, or I'm gonna have to take a half day off for whatever reason. So this appointment view, this appointment thing is actually much more of a calendar. And I'm sure for a lot of you watching, that's like, yeah, duh, why wouldn't it be? But this was actually a pretty uh, kind of interesting part for me to realize, and this was actually really, I think, um, uh, useful for me to realize, is that this, this Amy kind of style view, would actually be a lot more valuable when combined with this sidebar list. So what, why is that such, why is that the case? So let me um, kind of break this down like this. So they all said, hey, we want this kind of Google Calendar type of experience. And that means that there's a couple things that kind of surface very easily visually. The length of the appointment, I already discussed that briefly. The appointment type, okay? Color coding the appointment type, maybe color coding the status of the appointment. So there is some color coding that we can do. And we could do it one way or the other. I, there, there seems to be not really a strong consensus one way or the other. So I think that could be something maybe you could set in the settings. But initially, I'd probably go with color coding on the status. That way it's a little bit more simple for what I'm trying to build initially. Um, they also discuss in depth the day and week view of the 
uh, calendar. So, you know, this screenshot I've got right here is a week view, but then you also have the day view. So what does this get down to? I think what ultimately these things are talking about, what all this feedback is circling around is two kind of overlapping um, modes of operating for a physician. A physician who's operating their own practice has two modes. One is this admin mode, and that is essentially saying, okay, what's our patient load look like for the week? And appointment type also leads into things like CPT codes, which impacts billing and how much money you're making. So there's kind of this business um, orientation towards wanting to know both the patient load and the appointment types for those patients. There's also things like eligibility checks that fall into this as well, but that's a different topic for another day. So there's kind of this admin view where they're kind of looking at the day, they're looking at the week and they're going, okay, this is things, we have these openings, we could potentially get new patients in, we could do this or that. There's a lot of that kind of uh, business savviness that comes in here when, it's when a user or doctor in particular is trying to look at their calendar. The other kind of piece here that overlaps a little bit is the flow state. And what I call by the, what I mean by the flow state is the flow state of moving patient to patient. That is the, I'm working with patients, I have a three hour block of patients constantly, and I just need to go patient to patient, and I'm doing the prep work, I'm doing the, the actual documentation, I'm meeting with the patient, I'm doing orders, I'm doing all of these things back to back, and that has a slightly different but similar need in terms of, is the patient here? What type of patient appointment is this? Um, how long am I supposed to spend with this patient? Again, these things have billing implications, but they also have implications in terms of, are my patients coming in and being seen on time? Which can be a brand and kind of a differentiator for the practice. So these are the things that I'm thinking about. And these are the things that I kind of identified from these users. So what am I going to do to actually solve this problem? Instead of this list view, what can we do to actually make the appointment view, the calendaring feature, a little bit more easy. So, or a little bit more in line with expectations. So this is where we ended up, or this is a new version, version two, if you will, of the appointments feature. Now this is a little bit different. There is a little bit more of a UI in this sidebar, but what you can see is I've broken it down and said, okay, every appointment gets the appointment length, right? So that's very similar to a lot of these calendaring apps. That should not be a huge surprise. I've also included a little bit of metadata information. So each appointment block is a little bit bigger so that we can include some information about the appointment. Things like where the ex which exam room that person is in, maybe the status, maybe the type of appointment. There's actually plenty of room here to include other things as well. So there could be some other information here as time goes on. And so this is, I think, a much simpler version, essentially, of this um, view. This gives the user a two to three hour block, depending on the size and exact kind of heights and things here. It gives the user a two to three hour block of window, essentially of like, okay, here's what's happening in the next couple hours. And that gives them then the ability to go in and look at um, a person. So they could click on a person and see, okay, here's uh, like this, you know, they could click on it that gets highlighted in a certain way and then boom, they're seeing that information about the patient. Now, what's happening here, and you kind of get a little peek of it here, is what happens when you're not actually selected on an appointment? And I think this could be really interesting. You know, right now, all I've got is this, uh, this empty state view, which is just like, here's the stuff, and you know, maybe an action. But I think we could actually maybe make it more of a calendar. So I think we could actually essentially make this something where you can zoom in or out of a particular view. You're kind of zooming out at the highest level, you're kind of get this admin overview of your day or week or however long you want it to be. Again, similar calendar functionality to what exists. And then when you click on something, when you want to focus in on something, you get the focused view of that uh, day, basically. Um, and so there's probably some other controls that are necessary here in order to say, hey, you can go to today, you can go to a specific date, you can cycle between days, things like that. Um, there might need to be some controls to get in and out of this view, but I think for the most part, this actually makes it really easy for users to manage a calendar much more easily, much more quickly than what they do now, where we don't have to have separate features, we don't have to have separate pages for these different functions. Um, in fact, one thing I did do was remove the extra scheduling app, uh, page from this view. And I think like, hey, if we can get it all into one view, 
then we're really onto something here in terms of simplicity, usability, and understandability. Now, what this does mean is that there are some engineering challenges here. This is actually a much more full-fledged calendar feature than what this current list is. This current list, super easy to build, very easy to display a list of things with some information. This is much more to a calendaring style. And so that's actually, you know, there are tons and tons of apps out there that all they do is ma manage your calendar for you. So there's a little bit more complexity here, but I do think it's complexity that's worth building because now what we're trying to do is differentiate the product on this idea that, hey, your day is very easy to manage. It's very simple. And in fact, I think there is even an argument to be made that tasks could be folded into this calendar view and that we could actually make it calendar and inbox. And that's kind of it, calendar inbox and patience basically, right? That might be a little bit too far. That might be a little bit too much for version one, but that is where I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking about here is how do we manage these things very easily, very simply, and much more quickly um, than in current existing systems. This gives you that calendar and it would basically could integrate with Google Calendar or whatever. So we're rambling a bit at this point, but you kind of get the idea here. Going from an admin overview, going into the flow view, kind of zooming in and out, if you will, into this kind of uh, system, and that gives the user the ability to then kind of dictate and control their day and understand what's happening day to day and understanding what's happening even patient to patient, hour to hour, which in when a practice can be chaotic and kind of um, overwhelming at times, that level of focus in your software can be a huge, huge help. So. Um, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any thoughts, ideas, feedback, questions, please, as always, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'm always reading those and love the discussions that happen there. Um, I really appreciate you watching and I will see you real soon.